Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How's it going? I hope you're doing really, really well. Today we're doing my July favourites. I'm actually doing my July favourites on the 1st of August. This never happens. I'm normally pretty late to the party when it comes to favourites. But I'm having a bit of a day, so I thought I would just... That's a mood, by the way, is how I'm feeling today. So I thought I would slap a bit of makeup on, try and make myself feel better. Despite the fact I'm still in my pyjamas, this Ben's t-shirt a very old duff t-shirt but despite the fact that I feel a little bit I would thought I would just get on and try and make myself feel better by chatting to you lovely people so we're doing favorites and um, there's a bit of a mix this time as it always is with mine um if you like these videos be sure to give this one a thumb up thumbs up if you don't like these videos give it a thumbs down because I like to know if you don't like it I won't do the videos if you do like it I'll do more of them um and yeah, it's always nice to know what people think. So yeah, let's just get in. My first thing is a little bit weird, but it was one of my favorite things that happened this month. It was just so amazing. We went out to meet one of my best friends. Um, I won't mention their names just because of what they do for jobs, but one of my best friends in the whole world, she um, is getting married next year. And she gave the girls one of these each, which is a little card and inside it says, to Aria or Mika, we would like you to be our bridesmaid at our wedding next year, which is amazing. Um, and then they also gave them one of these little boxes each. Look, it's like the cutest little box. And then inside is a teeny weeny little bracelet. And it is a little tiny, it's like a, a wing. So it's a little tiny bracelet and it's got a little silver wing on it. And it's so cute. Um, we obviously said yes, the girls would love to be bridesmaids. I'm so excited for it for next year. Um, and that was just one of my favourite things that happened this month. So it's a favourites video. It doesn't have to be a physical thing. It was something that happened. And that is a little memory of it to treasure. The first time my girls get to be bridesmaids might be the only time they get to be bridesmaids. But they're going to be bridesmaids next year. So yay. Okay, moving on. Another thing that I can't show you camping we went camping this month i absolutely loved it i was really nervous because i've never been before um and obviously if you've not been here before i've got two toddlers i've got a two-year-old and a three-year-old and i was nervous about camping but we went with my best friends and it was absolutely amazing it was so much fun there's five kids under the age of six there's a six-year-old three three-year-olds and a two-year-old it was mega and I highly recommend it. If you want to do it and you're a little bit scared because you've got kids, just do it because it's so much fun. Okay. Uh, something to do with camping. I took this little speaker. It's a Sony speaker. This is old. Ben bought me this ages ago, like years ago. Um, and they don't do this one anymore. They do do a similar one that I've linked. Um, they're around about £40. But the bass on it is amazing and it's so good you can just like you can literally just tap your phone on it and it will play your music so it was really handy like when we were camping we could have music on it and the kids were having a little dance party so much fun absolutely loved it um and it's just yeah bluetooth wireless um you can answer your phone through it as well not that i ever do that but i do have this as my speaker in my office um if me and the kids are listening to music or because we don't have a radio in the house so we'll just hook this up either to the computer the phone whatever and it's really really fun uh what's next okay another my headphones i got these um this is the brand it's studio um these are the regent ones they're over ear headphones um these were sent to me the company studio um is a swedish company they contacted me and said would you like to try them um and I was like, uh, hell yeah, because I have got an iPhone 7 Plus, which has got the, I don't know what it is, but it's got like a USB doodad in it, and there's no headphone jack. So, if my phone's got no battery, I like to put it on charge, and then when I used to have a different phone, I'd have my headphones in as well, and like, watch Netflix or YouTube on my phone while it was charging. Can't do that with this, and the headphones that come with it, because there's only one slot, and then you have to buy another adapter, so I'd been looking at getting some wireless headphones and they contacted me and said, do you want to try some? So I said, yeah. 
Um, I chose these ones. There was lots of different ones. These are the Regent. They had them in black or white. They come with a black um, disc on here because these are removable. Um, and then these are custom ones. Um, but I really like these ones with the marble. There's a wasp. There's always wasps. Where's he gone? Is he on my head? Oh, it's a really big one. Get outside. Thank you. He's gone. <laughs> um, yeah, so they asked if I wanted to pick some and I chose these. They had wireless earbuds. They had ones with wires. But these ones I just thought for me were really nice. And I thought because they're black as well. Ben would use these as well. Um, and I really, really like them. I've been using them for around about a week and a half now. Oh, <gasps> God! Christ! The wasps have gone. This one went, and then the girls had one in there as well, and then there was one in the kitchen. It's ridiculous. We think there's a, a nest in the garden. We need to get it sorted. It's just... I hate wasps. Anyway. Oh, it just made my heart. The headphones are amazing i absolutely love them they go really loud not that i ever have them as loud as you can do because it hurts my ears if they go too loud but i really like them because they're like on-ear ones um they're really good i've been using them for when i'm doing my hula hoop because i like to do weighted hula hoop um, and before it would mean i have to have my phone in my bra and this is a big phone and then have a wire and i just didn't like it whereas this i can chuck my phone on the sofa and i can just have my music on and bop away and do my hooping. Yes, I love them. I do have a discount code for those if you want to try them for 15% off. I'll put it on the screen now. If you want to use it, you don't have to. I'll also link them down below where you don't have to use my link, but it's up to you. Oh my God, the wasp has thrown me. Right, what's next? We're gonna do straws, right. My kids like to have straws with they like to have their breakfast and they like to drink the milk with straws. But obviously with the whole trying to ban plastic straws, we want it to be a bit more environmentally friendly. So I found these. These are like stainless steel ones. Um, and I was a bit nervous because I was like, oh, they have milk in them. They're going to be disgusting. But they come with a little tiny brush. So you can... Oh, it's a good noise. Um, you can clean them. And I really like them. And I use them a lot. Um, for if I'm having a cocktail and the girls have them for their breakfast if they have milk and they want a straw We are trying to encourage them just to pick up the bowl and slurp it But as they are only two and three that quite often ends with them just tipping a bowl of milk on themselves So for the meantime, these are really good Um, I can't remember where I got these from but I found some on Amazon um, And I think they're £4.90 So and I think you get four So I think that's really good because they'll last forever uh, next up we've got a TV program and this is How I Met Your Mother. I've been looking to watch this for years and just never got around to do it and then I started and I've like binged it. I absolutely love it. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it because it's awesome. That's all I'm saying. I'm not doing any spoilers. Uh, next up we've got some makeup-y stuff. Mascara. This is the Oriflame 5-in-1 Wonder Lash Mascara um, and I got this in a box. I want to say I'm a glossy box last month. I can't remember. I'll link it down below. The camera just does not want to play today. It's because it's so reflective. Um, yeah, so this is it. And this has become my favourite. This is like, I prefer this to the Better Than Sex Mascara. It's £9. It is amazing. I was a bit doubtful because the brush is a bit weird. The wand is a bit strange. It's got like, it's a rubbery one. And it's got like long spikes on one side and short on the other. But it's magic. I absolutely love it. It doesn't smudge in the heat. It's just amazing. Um, and I don't know what the other benefits are. But it's like a five in one. I don't know what else it's supposed to do. But this is an extra black. And I think it's awesome. Uh, more makeup. We've got the Clinique Chubby Stick. This is a hefty highlight. Um, this is what I've got on today. I like to use this when I am not wearing foundation, which is most days to be fair. Um, it's so pretty. It just goes on really, really lovely. You can use it as a base for your highlighter or you can just use it how I do as a highlighter. But I absolutely love it. It's £20 set. It's quite expensive. But you get quite a lot of product. Um, and it just I just feel like it's lasting for ages. So... I really like it. There are dupes for this. The uh, Makeup Revolution. Oh, what is it? It's a highlight palette. I can't remember what it is, but I'll try and link that as well. That is a dupe for it. You can use that 
but I just really like this one and I like to tell you guys what I like. Not everything is going to be cheap cheap. I wouldn't buy another one, but I really like this one. <laughs> uh, lipstick. It's my MAC Lady Danger. Oh, it's just the most beautiful colour. Absolutely stunning. Um, I first saw this colour on Ivy Coco, Life of Ivy Coco, who's Kerry on Instagram, because she wears it. And I had to get it. It's just like the most perfect ready orange. And I think it's my all-time favourite lipstick I've ever owned. Um, that and Viva Glam, which is another MAC one. Um, and it's £17.50, which again, is very expensive for a lipstick. If anyone knows of a dupe for um, the MAC lipsticks that feel comfortable and last as long and are as vibrant, then let me know. But I do think sometimes with makeup especially, especially with lip products, because I hate having like the dry, crusty lips. But this is like, I've had this on for about two hours and it's still really bright. I haven't reapplied it and it feels really nice and smooth on my lips. That's kind of what I'm looking for in a lipstick. I don't like it when it's like and sucks out all the moisture. So, yeah. What have we got next? Um, this is the Beelu Cocoa Cocktail. Um, again, I got this in a beauty box and I absolutely love it. It says you can use it as a deodorant, which I don't do. I just use it as a body spray. But it is the most amazing like it's coconut and vanilla and just all round awesome it's just a perfect summer um summer spray and i just love it i'm just like dousing myself in it's probably why the wasps like me to be fair because i smell amazing um but it's 3.99 and it's a huge bottle so don't sleep on this get one if you like coconut and vanilla my second to last is a pencil and it is from someone I follow on Twitter. Um, her name is Dorkface or it's Gemma Dorkface and she's got Dorkface blog and she's also got an Etsy shop. Um, and I had to get this pencil because it's just so cute and it says strange and unusual club um, and it was two pounds and I just absolutely love it. Um, and it's just nice to support other Etsy shops because I have an Etsy shop selling my cards. So if I can support another Etsy shop I will and I really like this so you should go and check her out because she's awesome um now this is I don't know whether to include this or not because I can't find this online to link for you guys but it's the Lumiere and it's the magnetic nail polish oh I don't know if I can actually I'll just show you one here it'll be easier um my mum got it for me I don't know where she got it from I'll try and find out from her but it is the coolest nail varnish if you can see on there you paint it on and it goes on smooth. And then you hold the magnet and it creates these waves. It's so cool. Literally can't find it anywhere other than eBay to buy. So, come on camera, keep up. Thanks mate. Camera's having a bit of a day like me as well. Um, so I didn't really know whether to include it. I really like them. Mum's had this colour on and I've been using this one. But yeah, it just, there's nowhere to find it. If you can find it, let me know and I'll link it down below. But I literally can't find it anywhere other than eBay. So I'm a bit confused, but I do like it. So there's two jog ons this month. The first one is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Natural Glowing Skin. I initially did like this, but since using other fake tans that do not cost as, as much as this one, I wouldn't use this again. So this is just going to go in the bin um, because it was quite orange on me. It wasn't particularly... Um, didn't go on particularly well it was quite patchy i know i did use a sock to put it on with but the girl on youtube told me that it would be better than using a mitt and i trusted her because she's got like a bajillion followers and she looked incredibles um but it didn't work for me so i wouldn't use this again mainly because of the price and the fact it made me orange uh, and then the other one is the Quasha Quasha double effect and this is like a micellar makeup remover thing and first of all it leaked which is why there's hardly any left and then i tried it and it left the most i don't even like touching it, it left the most horrible oily film all over my face and i just felt disgusting i had to like just really really wash my face to get the um the residue off my face i hated it so and i know quite a lot of people have loved it but i really really didn't like it um where's my micellar water this is the one I use this one, so it's not the fact I don't like oil ones. Just grab my own boob there. It's like having a little scratch. Um, it's not like I don't like oil ones, because this one is an oil one. 
and this doesn't leave the residue this just makes your thin skin feel really soft this just felt nasty on my skin personally so that was my july favorites and jog ons i'm sorry this video was just a bit crazy with all the wasps and whatnot but that is life in the summer in my house there's no airplanes though we had no airplanes so that's a good thing um yeah thanks for watching and i will see you soon bye guys